Hello everybody, my name is Farfan and welcome back to the Balloon Tower Defense 6 Lab. Today I'm going to be showing off my choices for the top 6 monkey pairings in BTD6. To keep it relatively consistent across all difficulties and game modes, I'm going to be excluding the tier 5 monkey towers, as they're only really affordable in the late game. This is my opinion and I understand that not everyone will agree with my choices. So do feel free to debate it in the comments, you know, I'm always keen to see what other people have to say and how, what, how other people play the game, but do keep it polite please. It's also important to note that I'm in no way saying these towers will be able to carry you from the start to finish the match, they're just the top 6 pairings. Now with that out of the way, let's start with number 6. At number 6, we've got the 204 Overdrive Tax Shooter and the 420 Primary Mentoring Monkey Village. The Overdrive Tax Shooter is a cheap unit which when placed well has an excellent pop count in the early to mid game. Giving it the additional top 2 upgrades which buff its fire speed and pairing it with a Monkey Village makes for an even more powerful tower. The 420 Monkey Village grants extra range which is important for the Tax Shooter because it does suffer from its limited range when you're going for that top 2 upgrades instead of the middle 2. It also further buffs the Tax Shooter's attack speed which makes it able to get an insane amount of pops. The Monkey Village can give it camo detection and block those regrows as well, which is just even more bonuses. The only downside is it does, this build does struggle a little bit against mobs, but still a solid pairing, which is why I'm putting it at number 6. So moving on to number 5, we have the 401 Balloon Jitsu Ninja and the 024 Mo Press Boomerang Monkey. This is another cheap pair with high popping potential. The Ninja takes care of the camo balloons. Um, as standard, you know, you haven't got an, up an upgrade and he's taking care of the camera balloons. Getting the ninja to tier 4 balloon jitsu with one additional tier 1 upgrade, which is seeking shuriken, will mean its attack speed and popper power will take care of any early game camos. You can also give the ninja monkey the second tier upgrade caltrops, but personally I feel it's just not necessary. Save that money for something else. Um, then there's the boomerang monkey that pairs so well with him. He's the metal popper to the ninja's camo popping with the tier 2 upgrade red hot ranks. Then at tier 4 he can also be a massive help against that round 40 mob with his mode press ability. On top of that he is a very capable balloon popper. He gets faster attack speeds from his tier 1 and 2 upgrades, faster throwing and faster ranks. The only downside to the boomerang monkey is I do find the mode press ability falls off a little bit as the rounds increase but still a very solid pair. Deals with camos, deals with metals, deals with early mobs. They belong at the fifth spot on this list. So next at number four, I'm going for the 402 Apache Dart Ship Helicopter and the 420 Aircraft Carrier Monkey Buccaneer. The Apache Dart Ship is by far one of the funnest towers in the game. An interesting side note, when using this tower against mobs, it's actually more effective to turn the pursuit off and lock it in place at the start of the track. This way it'll deal more damage to the strong mobs as they pass by. The Apache Dartship and the Aircraft Carrier both have the ability to pop metals, have near global vision and have incredibly high pop counts. Besides being unable to deal with camos, these towers easily can carry you into the late game. The main reason they're only 4 from the tier list is because they're very pricey. You'll be able to get these towers fully upgraded until you're far into the match already. So now we're at the top three. Getting the bronze medal is the 420 Balloon Impact Bomb Shooter and the 240 Artillery Battery Mortar Monkey. Obviously it should go without saying that this pair deals with metals incredibly well. Once again though they will not be able to pop the camos for you. Balloon Impact is a tier 4 upgrade for the Bomb Shooter. Pair it with the tier 2 upgrade Missile Launcher for increased attack speeds and range and it is without question the best stun and pop ratio in the game for the price you pay. And if you place it well on the map, it can be paired up with the artillery battery. But Mortar Monkey's biggest issue is that it doesn't get much time to deal its massive damage before the balloons have passed through it and are far beyond it. But with the balloon impact stun, they're combined to make an incredible amount of pops because they're just stuck there. For the, the cannon to pop them, for the artillery battery to pop them, it just adds up to a whole lot. Uh, it'll definitely carry you far into the mid to late game. Now with the silver medal we're going for the 042 Jungles Bounty Druid and the 320 Banana Plantation. This pair is all about making money. The 320 Banana Plantation is the safest way to earn cash in the game. I've said it in previous videos but I will rarely complete a match without at least one of these towers because of the cash boost is such a critical buff on any map. Its effects are only heightened by pairing it with the 042 Druid. This monkey's 4th tier upgrade, Jungle's Bounty, grants 200 cash 
every few seconds. Put it in the radius of the banana farm and this cash amount is boosted to 300. This stacks until you physically can't fit any more banana farms in the druid's radius. So if you're looking for some serious cash in game then this is the strategy. On top of that it, you shouldn't overlook the druid's tier 3 upgrade, Druid of the Jungle. It's not the strongest, um, it's not got the most popping power out there but it definitely gets some serious pops and it's a global reach as well so it's definitely a unit that is not to be overlooked for popping power and for money making. Now this leaves us with one pair left. Number one with the gold medal is the 400 Strongest Stimulant Alchemist Monkey and Adora the Hero Monkey. The Strongest Stimulant Alchemist could have been in every position of this top 6 list but I decided to limit it to just one for the sake of variety. Strongest Stimulant can buff any monkey that's within its radius but I do find it's best to just focus one strong monkey. At tier 2 it's going to allow the monkey you're focusing to pop lead balloons, do extra damage to ceramics and to mo plus balloons. Tier 3 is giving monkeys extra damage, range and attack speed. Then at tier 4 all of these buffs it's giving are just increased further. So with that said who's better to pair it with than the high priestess herself Adora. Adora levels up quickest when you sacrifice expensive units to her. This pair will require sacrifice because you're going to want Adora to be the highest level possible. A high level Adora with a stronger stimulant is near unstoppable. So yeah, now all the medals have been handed out, that is my top 6 monkey pairs in Balloon Tower Defense 6. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.